Vladislav is a fourth-year law student. Today, he has an exam on criminal proceedings. Even though Vladislav is a student of Donetsk National University, he is not in Donetsk, but in Vinnytsia, some 800 kilometers away. When the conflict in the east of Ukraine intensified, Ukraine's government decided to relocate Donetsk National University to a safer place. We decided to follow Vladislav to see how this major university is settling on a new place. We have two premises, two large buildings in our university. The first one, we are here. It's the former administrative building of the jewelry factory Crystal in Vinnytsia. Dr. Hajinov says the university, just as many of its faculty, personnel and students, was forced to leave all of its property behind. Uh, now we are near our library, we are proud of our library. We have in Donetsk more than 1.2 million books in our library. And now only a handful. The new library of the relocated university is just being put together. Many universities from across Ukraine donate books to help their fellow colleagues. And here, on the ground floor, the new desks, chairs and beds are being assembled. In just a few weeks' time, these brand new chairs and desks will be in classrooms and these beds in dormitories. Students and faculty of this major Ukrainian university are rebuilding it from scratch. It may look that the main difficulty is to settle on the new place, but the president of the university tells us that even departure from Donetsk was a challenge for some. The faculty and students came here to Vinnytsia secretly, so to say. Some of the faculty were and still are threatened to have their houses taken away. But not all of the academic community relocated to Vinnytsia. As with the entire country, the university split. Some stayed in Donetsk under the rule of Ministry of Education of Donetsk People's Republic. Professor Renyuk tells us how it all began. The entire delegation came, the minister, the candidate for the university president's office, with gunmen. They made a speech. The university will now be controlled by us, not the Ukrainian government. Thus, the Donetsk University divided. Some relocated to Vinnytsia, some stayed behind. In the students' canteen, we asked Mr. Hajinov, professor of economics, what are students learning back in Donetsk? Are they teaching economics of the new state, of Novorossiya, of DNR? I don't know, but for example, for our specialty in international economics, uh, they maybe give some principles and some bases in international economics. But what kind of international economics in unrecognized republic? We tried to contact any of the students or faculty of the Donetsk University who stayed in Donetsk, but our official request for comment from the Ministry of Education of Donetsk People's Republic was denied. Upstairs, Vladislav is preparing for his exam. When we spoke to Vladislav afterwards, he told us when the relocation of the university was announced, he did not think for a second about staying behind. Um, because as I am a Ukrainian lawyer and uh, I understand that uh, I can't be a real lawyer in uh, Donetsk People's Republic or in Russia because I have uh, an Ukrainian education. Now, to pursue their Ukrainian education, these students from Donetsk and Donetsk region have to overcome many difficulties. But looks like this evacuated university is doing just fine, putting together a new life for its academic community. A new life far away from home. This is Volodymyr Solhuben and Andriy Vitoshkin reporting from Vinnytsia for Ukraine Today.